وما كان المؤمنون لينفروا كافر this ayah is very important and mostly it has been misinterpreted ما كان المؤمنون لينفروا كافر it was not possible or it is not possible for the believers that all of them should go out فلولا نفر من كل فرقة منهم طائفة why doesn't a group from every party of theirs goes out ليتفقه في الدين so that they, they get the understanding, knowledge, and deep understanding, and deep, deep insight in the deen. And so that they should warn their people, their, their tribes or their nations when they return back to them. So that they should also save themselves. This has been misinterpreted about fighting. That all Muslims can go, cannot go out for fighting. And you know, so only a, a group should go. And because the Prophet will be there, so with his company, he will, he will gain some, they will gain some in, uh, knowledge of uh, the deen of Allah. And when they come back, they will impart that knowledge to other people also who stayed back. This is wrong. Actually, this is the solution to that problem which are, I pointed out at that time. Al-Arabu ashaddu kufram wa nifaqa. These desert people, desert Arabs, they are hard, more hard in kufr as well as nifaq. Why? Because they are deprived from the company of the Prophet ﷺ. Only seldom they get a chance to see the Prophet ﷺ to come over to Medina to spend some time with him. Now what, what is the solution? All of these people cannot be called to Medina. That come here, they have to stay back. So from every group, from every hooker corner, some people should come, stay here. They should educate themselves. They should benefit from the company of the Prophet ﷺ. They should get the deepest understanding and they should get the insight into the deen, the philosophy and the wisdom of deen. And then when they go back to their homes and their, their regions, to their tribes, they should impart that knowledge to them. So this is actually, and Abu Hayyan, he has given this interpretation and I was glad that when I consulted today, the interpretations, you know, of uh, Marana Shabir al Usmani, he did mention this. Although mostly, you know, people think that this was for, for fighting. No. At the event of Tabuk, it was necessary for every Muslim to go. So it is against the context. If they think that it, is, it regards the fighting or going to war in the cause of Allah, because this is agreed upon that at this time, at the expedition of Tabuk, it was obligatory for every Muslim to go out. Ya amanu yaluna al kuffar wa fikum Oh, you who believe. Now, this is the final verdict of Quran. No question of any coexistence between kufr and iman. al kuffar. Go to war against those of kuffar who are close to you. This revolution had now to be, you know, exported. I told you, the two-pronged mission of Muhammad sallallahu As far as the Arabian Peninsula is concerned, the mission has been accomplished. But now it has to proceed. Muhammad sallallahu was not sent for the Arabian Peninsula or the Arab nation only. He was the mercy unto whole worlds, and he was sent for all humanity. So now go and fight. And that is why immediately after, you know, his death, people started going out, armies going out. We can say that from the, uh, from the Roman side, the beginning was because, you know, the king of Ghassan martyred the emissary and the ambassador of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this was the retaliation. But what about Iran? Why did they invade? They invaded. Why? Because now it was their duty to make the deen of Allah supreme. That is why when Rustam asked, you know, Saad ibn Abi Waqqas ta'ala, why have you invaded us? You used to come, you, you, you Arabs, you know, you used to come and raid just as a tribal raid and went back this time you are not going back. What has happened? That the reply of Saad ibn Abi Waqqas was, Inna qad ursilna le nukhrijan nas min zulumati jahalat ila nur al-iman wa min jawri al-muluk ila adli al-islam. 
Now we are on a mission. We have been sent. Allah sent Muhammad. Muhammad sent us. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have to take people out of the ignorance, darknesses of ignorance, into the light of Iman. And to relieve and free the people from the bondages of these kings and, you know, emperors to the adl of Islam, to the social, just social order of Islam. This is our mission. Ya ayuhal ladheena amanu qatilu ladheena yalunakum minal kufare wal yajadu fikum ghilza. They should feel and find within you, in you, the harshness. No love. Ghilza. The same words with which we started today. Ya ayuhal nabiyu jahidil kufara wal munafiqoon. Wal munafiqina wal yajadu fikum ghilza. The same word is here. Wa alamu anna Allah ma'al muttaqeen. As I told you, no coercion, no compulsion in religion to individuals. Nobody will be forced to accept Islam. But the system, deen, it should be to Allah. Unless you are, we are helpless. That's something else. But if you can, you have to strike at the system. You can't accept the system. There's no question of any coexistence between the right and the wrong. And rest assured that Allah is with those who have taqwa. He will be on your back. He will help you. Now again a reference to the munafiqeen. Whenever is a surah is revealed, there are some among these munafiqeen who say to, to the Muslim, Ayyukum zadat ho hadahi imana. Which of, which of you has this surah increased in Iman? Has this surah, which has been revealed just now, increased you in Iman? Increased the depth of Iman, the depth of conviction in you? Those who have the real belief and real faith, actually, it adds to their Iman. And they are rejoiced. They rejoice at, the, at that new revelation which comes. And as for those in whose hearts there is a disease, the disease of nifaq, now every new revelation adds to the impurities to which they were already there. The impurities adds impurity to the impurities which were pre existing there. And they will die in this condition of real kufr, although legal Islam. This is the same subject that we have read in Surah Al-Baqarah. Yudillo behi kasiran wa yahdi behi kasira. With this very Quran, Allah guides so many and Allah misguides so many. The same Surah of Quran adding to Iman of the Mu'mineen and adding to Nifaq of the Munafiq. Awala yarawna annahum yuftaluna fi kulli amin marratana wa marratain. Don't they see? That they are tried and they are put to a test every year, once or twice. There's always an occasion. Go out for the cause of Allah. Go out for the cause of Allah. It becomes a test for them. Summalayatubun. So they are warned. And they become conscious of their nifaq. But they are not making tawbah. They don't repent. And they are not admonished admonished. And when a surah is sent down, a new revelation is sent down. Now just imagine the you know Sahaba sitting, the Prophet recites that this is the new revelation which has come to me. Jibrail just came and he has brought these ayat. Now, because in that ayah or in that surah there is some new command. So these munafiqeen should say to each, see to each other, Nazar abadum ila abadin, hal yaraakum in ahadin? Is somebody seeing you? So man sarafu, then they sleep away. And it's better to sleep away from here now because some new musibah is coming, you know. So they just take care that nobody is seeing them, they're watching them. Hal yaraakum in ahadin? Is somebody seeing you? So man sarafu, then they go away. Saraf Allahu Qulubahu. Actually, Allah has turned away their hearts. They are known called me the Adlai of Kahun because they are a nation, they are a people who don't have the real understanding. Now, the two last ayat which are very dear to us, should be very dear to us. Lakajakum Rasulum min anfusikum. 
او مین کائنڈ اے میسنجر ہیز کم ٹو یو عزیز علیہ مان تم اٹس ویری ہیوی اپان ہم اٹس ہرٹس ہم ویری مچ وٹ ایور از انفلکٹنگ یو ہی سو مچ سمپیتھیٹک ٹوڈس یو اف دیر از سم تھنگ وچ ایفلکس یو ہی از ہرٹ ہری سن علیہ کم ہی از گریڈیلی سولیسٹس فار آل دی گڈ فار یو یو آر آل دی گڈ شوڈ بی گیون ٹو یو ہی از ویری مچ ہریس فار یو that all goods all blessings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you get from them raw alaykum bil mu'minin raufur rahim and for the believers he is very much merciful and most kind fa in tawallaw but if o muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam they turn away fa qul exclaim hasbi allah allah is sufficient for me i need no support whosoever wants to support he should support for himself for his own gain for his own salvation if you are turning away my god is with me la tahzan in allah ma'ana which he said to abu bakr radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu in the cave of sar Don't be grieved. Allah is with us. Hasbi Allah. For me, Allah is sufficient. La ilaha illahu. There is no God except He. Alayhi tawakkul to. I have put all my trust, all my faith in Him. I depend wholly, solely on Him. Wa huwa rabbul arshil azim. And He is the Lord of the great throne. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim. ونفعني وياكم بالآيات والذكر الحكيم